Good morning, everybody. Uh, so uh, welcome to the first version of the Chain in the Conference on Blockchain and Cryptocurrencies. Uh, it's a great pleasure to have you here. Uh, and it's wonderful to have uh, like these numbers coming from all around the world, from 15 countries. We have people from 15 countries attending this conference, which is, uh, as we know as academics, it's unusual or uncommon for academics to visit academic conferences without proceedings or publications. Uh, even we don't have uh, proceedings this year, we do have uh, some great talks and uh, novel uh, uh, ideas in blockchain, especially tomorrow. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't wait uh, longer, so we should start and then uh, uh, as people arrive, we can proceed more. Um, so just me, let's uh, just touch upon the uh, the idea of the conference being the very first version. So uh, actually, we position ourselves in uh, I'm gonna describe it in three points, three main points. So first, Chain In is a platform for education. It's not a platform for uh, advertisement or uh, or speculation. So the idea is that actually uh, the the area you know it's it's growing very fast and we are missing expertise. We don't know what's blockchain. We, we don't have engineers to implement blockchains, and we don't have ex experts to review the security of blockchains. So, so we would love to have this uh, in Chainin. The second point in Chainin is that, um, the second point is uh, that it's, we see that blockchain is actually an ecosystem that's beyond technology itself. So it's where computer science, security, law, business, economy, and others intersect. So we believe that you couldn't build a successful blockchain system uh, without having a, this comprehensive view. So we try to do this, and that's why we have some diversity in the talks. So the third point, and which is the most special to uh, chain in, is that it's kind of hybrid conference that brings academi academics and uh, industrial guys and also freelancers or developers or independents to sit together and try to learn from each other and solve these problems. So as we all know that when Satoshi Nakamoto invented his Bitcoin and the underlying blockchain, so he was actually addressing the trust model of what we call in academia the Byzantine model. And while these guys, so all the credit goes to these guys in Bitcoin, the developers, the industry, who have just did this great adoption for Bitcoin, we have been failing as academics for over three decades. So all the credit goes to the Bitcoin uh, community and especially the industry. Uh, but uh, for, for me, actually, personally, I see that Bitcoin is a very successful experiment, which have a lot of challenges nowadays. The challenges on the sustainability, on scalability, and other matters. And uh, actually, it hurts me when I hear some of academics saying that, oh, Bitcoin will collapse soon. And I don't know if this is correct, is it like, it's, does it sound good to just, we just watch Bitcoin falling? So, no, sorry. We are academics, these are not our values or ethics. We should try to solve this problem. And we try to put hand in hand with the industry to learn from each other and try to solve this problem. So finally, uh, just I have to thank you all for coming. Uh, I have to thank everyone uh, who have helped on the success of Chain in, starting from the uh, uh, PC members, speakers, uh, sponsors, and the uh, people behind the scenes as well. And thank you for coming, and uh, I think uh, we should start uh, with the great talks. Thank you.